practice like with having a full roster back? Jamal, Kate, and everybody's back. Has it been uh, different? Practices have been a lot more competitive now. Uh, before, when a lot of guys went down with injuries, uh, coaches best to give us like and supplement uh, different guys in. But now with uh, everybody being here, I mean it's a lot competitive. Like yesterday, a lot of times our practice go you know two hours or so, or maybe a little longer than that. Yesterday we were in and out, out an hour and five, I think around that time, hour and ten. But it was competitive. Like it felt like I mean one of the best practices I've been a part of, besides one we had like two weeks ago. But yesterday, I mean, it was really we're getting after each other. Like I said, proved off because we only went for about an hour, five hour and ten minutes. When you have when you have a practice like that compared to some of the other practices that you had when all the guys were hurt, does it really make you realize like how short, how what's the word I'm thinking of? Just you know, depleted your roster. I wouldn't look at the negative side of it. I look at the positive side of it. it lets me it lets me know how good we can be. Uh, we don't think about the negative. We can't think about the negative. That's how you get stuck in the past. You know, can't look at what's behind you. With everybody being here, we just it shows me how much strong and you know. How good we can be, you know, at the end of the at the end of this run coming up. So, is it going to be a little easier on you now having some of these guys back to maybe sit down and get a breather in a game? Oh, I was love it. I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it has been a blessing to play all those minutes. You know, I mean, it takes a wear on your body, but it helped me out with my confidence level. I guess uh, being able to play all those minutes and knowing coach, you know, was going to ride with me and you know coach me up and teach me and everything. But now with those guys, I think y'all saw a little bit of it. Uh, Thursday's game, I get to play like. Pressure defense, how I did Juco. I get to get up in the guys, pick them up 94 feet. I couldn't really do that playing 40 minutes a game like I wanted to because I just knew my body wouldn't be able to probably to sustain it. But now with everybody coming back, uh, it's going to help me out a lot more on the defensive end now. Are you uh, more comfortable going out of the shooting guard role instead of running the point? I mean, uh, I don't think it's just more comfort. It was just more what it was thrown at me really fast. Uh, I know one game, my worst game this year, I would say is probably VCU. It was just. It was an awe. I was only really guard, you know, that was really playing a lot at that time, and I just got thrown into the fire. But that really helped me out going, because right after VCU had Louisville, and it just helped me out at that spot. But I was really originally brought in, I guess, to play one and the two, but coach started me at the two this year, so I'm so used to just running the plays at the two. But then when he switched me to the one, I just kind of got a lot thrown on me at that one time. But if coach asked me to go back to the one and play it again, I'd have no problem doing it. So I just, I think it helped, uh, helped me out to be more versatile, you know, on the offensive end. So. <clears throat> Excuse me. With the team being back, you know, at full strength, pretty much now, you feel like uh, the, the possibility is there that you guys can peak at the right time. Now that you've got, you know, about that possibility is always there, especially with a coach like Coach Hart and the guys we have. I mean, a lot of times you don't see the the work I guess the guys put in during the game because they may not get an opportunity to play. But if you come to our practice and just watch, you can never tell the difference between guys that don't play and guys that do play because everybody's just competing. I mean, it's not like we just have a big drop off. Like when we sub guys in. They're just as good as the starters, you know what I mean? That's one thing I really do like, like you said, with uh, the depleted roster at first, you really couldn't see those things. But now that everybody's back and strong, practice, like I said before, competitive now. These things are going to start rolling. Like you said, we're going to peak. Like you said, right at the right time, I think, right around this time. I wasn't here last year, but I think right around this time is when they start making their run and then won like seven games in a row, conference tournament. So hopefully we can do them. You know, I'm looking to do the same thing again because I got a little taste of winning last year at JUCO. I want to get that, get a ring here at this level as well. So. How much has uh, Coach Harper talked about the All-Diddle teams coming up and the ceremony stuff next week? Say it again, sir. The All-Diddle teams that they're going to announce next week? Uh, I, have, I haven't there. heard anything much about it yet, All-Diddle teams at all. I mean, I've heard about, if you're talking about like some of the great players that have played here in the past, right. I've heard about players that have played here, but the All-Diddle team coming here, I haven't heard much about that at all, so I wouldn't be able to comment on that. You guys get North Texas again on the road. Uh, you know, Coach Harper said it's a team that has a lot of talent. Obviously, their record is not that great. Uh, you know, do you go in there still, despite the record, you know, with a, with a sense of respect that they're capable of turning it on? Yeah, I mean, at this level of basketball, you're playing Division I basketball, you have to take everybody seriously because they're given scholarships and they you know they're good players. Uh, I can't comment on them being like their record because sometimes teams just don't mesh, I guess, the way you want them to, but, you know, they're really dangerous. I think Tony Mitchell, you know, again, I wasn't here last year, but I heard he was supposed to be a lottery pick or something like that. So with that kind of talent on one team, I mean, you have to respect him already going in because he can go off of 30 or 40. So we go in there with the same respect we play every other team, you know, try to get a win on the road because the conference road win is always good in my book. So.